Today, I'm going to talk about a common question that many people have. Which is better, Advil or Aleve? These are two popular over-the-counter pain relievers that can help with various conditions, such as headaches, muscle aches, menstrual cramps, arthritis, and more. But what are the differences between them, and how can you choose the most appropriate one for your situation? In this video, I will answer these questions. Let's find out. First, what are Advil and Aleve? Advil and Aleve are brand names for two different drugs. Both of them belong to a class of medications called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, and SEDs. They work by blocking the production of chemicals called prostaglandins that cause inflammation and pain in the body. So how do they compare in terms of effectiveness? Both Advil and Aleve are effective at relieving mild to moderate pain and reducing inflammation. However, they may not work the same for everyone, and some people may respond better to one than the other. According to Drugs.com, a dose of 440 mg of Aleve is approximately equivalent to a dose of 400 mg of Advil in terms of pain relief. And how do they compare in terms of duration of action? One of the main differences between Advil and Aleve is how long they last in the body. Advil is considered a short-acting and said, which means it works faster but also wears off sooner. You may need to take Advil every 4 to 6 hours as needed for pain relief. Aleve is considered a long-acting and said, which means it works slower but also lasts longer. You may only need to take a leave twice a day as needed for pain relief. Advil takes 20 to 30 minutes to start working, while a leave takes up to an hour. So how do they compare in terms of indications? Both Advil and a leave can be used for various types of pain and inflammation, such as headaches, migraines, toothaches, backaches, muscle strains or sprains, menstrual cramps, arthritis, and gout. However, some conditions may respond better to one than the other. For example, according to Medical News Today, a web-based outlet for medical information and news, Advil may be more effective for acute pain such as dental pain or menstrual cramps. While Aleve may be more effective for chronic conditions such as arthritis or gout, so how do they compare in terms of side effects? Like all medications, Advil and Aleve can cause side effects. Some of the most common ones include, stomach upset, nausea, vomiting, or diarrhea, heartburn or indigestion, headache or dizziness, rash or itching, fluid retention or swelling. However, some side effects can be more serious and require medical attention. These include, bleeding or ulcers in the stomach or intestines, increased blood pressure or heart rate, kidney damage, liver damage, allergic reactions such as hives, swelling, or difficulty breathing, stroke or heart attack. The risk of these side effects depends on several factors, such as your age, health condition, dosage, duration of use, and other medications you may be taking. In general, Aleve may have a higher risk of causing gastrointestinal side effects because it is longer acting. Advil may have a higher risk of causing cardiovascular side effects because it blocks more COX-2 enzymes than Aleve. Finally, how do they compare in terms of generic names? Advil and Aleve are brand names for ibuprofen and naproxen, respectively. However, there are other brand names that contain the same active ingredients. For example, Motrin is another brand name for ibuprofen. You should always check the label of any medication you buy to make sure you know what it contains and how much to take. To sum up, Advil and Aleve are both effective pain relievers that can help with various conditions. However, they have some differences in terms of how fast they work how long they last, what side effects they cause, and what conditions they treat best.
You should always consult with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any medication, especially if you have any medical problems, allergies, or other medications. You should also follow the directions on the label and never take more than the recommended dose or for longer than the advised period. I hope this video was helpful and informative.